My name is Greg Heller. I'm the director of the Philadelphia Redevelopment Authority, and I am very honored to be here this morning. What we're celebrating here today is much more than the construction of 13 beautiful and affordable homes for our community. What we're celebrating here today is a new way of building in Philadelphia. So, as I'm sure you know, there are communities in Philadelphia that are growing and thriving but becoming every day more unaffordable. And what we want to make sure is that those communities as they grow are affordable and equitable for the community, the people who live in them, and for the hardworking people who keep our city and our society going every day. So we need affordable uh, and what we're calling workforce housing in all of our neighborhoods of choice. The problem is we have limited resources to do that with. And every year, the amount of federal resources we have gets ever lower, and the city doesn't have the money to do it all by ourselves. So what you have to do in that situation, you have to get creative. And we got creative, thanks to this gentleman on my left, your council president, Daryl Clark. We got creative, we got innovative, we thought outside the box, and we said we're going to partner with private developers and banks who share our mission of having equitable and affordable communities. And what we're going to do is that my agency and the city, we're going to sell our land at a discounted price, and the developers and the banks are going to build this housing, and we're going to require it to be uh, to be affordable long term. And these houses here are going to be affordable for up to 30 years. And so when you have a partnership like that, you need partners who share the vision and who can figure out how to make this complicated structure work. And we found them with BMK and with Meridian Bank. And we are very happy to have found those partners, to have built that partnership and to have made this project a success. So what we're celebrating here today is not just one project with 13 new affordable homes selling at under $230,000, but we're celebrating a new way of building in Philadelphia where in every neighborhood of choice, where the city and redevelopment authority have land, we can make that land available, eliminate the blight in our neighborhoods, and get those pieces of land developed. With that, I want to turn the microphone over to the man who deserves the credit for designing this program, for pushing this through, for making sure that projects like this happen in neighborhoods of choice throughout Philadelphia. Please welcome your council president, Daryl Clark. Good morning, everyone. All right, this is what I'm talking about. So as Gre Greg laid out the specifics um, in terms of the details of the program and the financing mechanism, but I want to put in a little different spin. So being a council person for the 5th District, you end up representing probably the most diverse district in the state. Because those big buildings over there with 17th, 18th, with the cranes on them, called the Comcast Towers, we represent those, right? And the Rittenhouse Square, when you go down there and you see the little people playing in the dogs, and the, you know what I'm talking about, right? On Sunday, you know, doing whatever, right? Some expensive real estate over there. And then up north, there's some challenges, right? You know, I'm talking about some challenges up there. So what we've done over the years, um, when the federal government was fruitful, we built a lot of affordable housing in some of these neighborhoods, actually some here. Uh, we took down the towers over at Cambridge, uh, redid, redid Richard Allen. Uh, looks really nice. But as Greg was saying, that money has dwindled. And then in the other areas, like the end of the corner, but well, those properties are going, what, six, 650? 650, 700 now. I don't know about you all, but I can't afford to live there, right? <laughs> but in the middle, which we call the sweet spot, sweet spot, the simple reality is, is that the majority of the people that live in the city of Philadelphia could probably afford those houses, but we have not been building new construction that meets that sweet spot, being able to take advantage of the 10-year tax abatement, new amenities, you know, in neighborhoods of choice. So we put our heads together and we came together with an initiative and a strategy and we call it workforce housing because that's what it is. We need to be able to provide an opportunity for the 
the lady that's a police officer, right? And the husband that's a nurse. Y'all y'all like the way I slipped that script on that, right? <laughs> All right. But the reality is that, that those are the realities of our city. You know, we have these people and they can't afford the thing on the corner and they don't qualify because they make a little too much money for the affordable housing. So exactly. So as a result of this, we're able to address the needs of those people that encompass the majority of the individuals living in our city. So that's why I'm excited to have worked with Greg from the RDA, all the other individuals from the city agencies, my good friends from BMK, because at the end of the day, you got to have some private people willing to jump off the diving board and say, I'm going to try this, right? You know, because it's, it's challenging to get people to first get engaged with the city, but do something outside of the box. So I just want to say how excited I am today to be in a position to talk to the residents and say that we have delivered a product that's going to be available to your daughters and your sons and your family members, because now all of a sudden everybody wants to live in North Philly, right? You know what I'm talking about? I know you get those calls, because I get them all the time. People I went to school with, hey, man, can you hook me up, right? Nah, you come down here and get an application, right? But this is a place of choice, but we want to make sure that we have the appropriate product down in this neighborhood. So to my friends, the residents of the community who have hold, held it together, I want to thank you all. I want to thank uh, our partners, BMKA, Meridian Bank, uh, and, and Greg from the RDA, and all of the people, guys in my office, Jeremy. I think Jeremy, this is Jeremy's first first ribbon cutting. It's your first ribbon cutting. Yeah, he, he'll probably be asked for the rest of the day off. He said, boss. I took care of it and I'm out of here. But guys, I, I genuinely, I, I just want to thank you all so much for this wonderful, wonderful event. Uh, as you, as was said, we're going to be doing a whole lot more. I think Francisville's next. Francisville's next. Francisville's next. So those of you who are interested, that it, uh, yeah, all right, well, you know, we, Francisville's a little, you're putting out all the goods. Um, I, I just want to thank you. I'm, I'm, obviously, I'm pretty excited about this. But um, I just want to thank everybody who's participating in this wonderful program. This is what we're going to be doing across the city. This is the new model. You got to think outside of the outside of the box in today's world. So I want to thank you all so much, and look forward to continuing to do the work for the people of the city of Philadelphia. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Councilman. So, as I mentioned, when you uh, first of all, there are a lot of people who work behind the scenes on projects like this, uh, and. One of them who has worked the hardest on it is here with us, and I like to always acknowledge folks from, uh, from my office in the city. So I want to acknowledge Susan Callanan, who's standing in the back, for all your hard work on this project. So as I mentioned, uh, when you've got a partnership between the city uh, and uh, the private sector, you need great partners who are willing to work hard and figure out how to make these complicated projects happen. And we had a great partner with BMK. So at this time, I want to uh, bring up the, uh, the builders of this project, um, Larry McKnight and Mo Rushdie. Hello, everyone. Thank you again for coming out. Um, a little over six months ago, we stood on a trash spewing lot down the block, uh, getting ready to groundbreak this project. Uh, the vision of this project was to give back to the community. When we formed BMK Properties a little over five years ago, um, part of our mission was to not only build new housing in the city of Philadelphia, but also to uh, revigorate and revive um, communities that were once strong and once had a lot of um, strong people living in those communities. This is one of the ways that we as a developer and builder give back to the community. I'm the son of a police officer, the son of a teacher. So this is kind of my homage to my parents um, and to future generations who can't afford the $700,000 houses down there. I myself cannot afford. I would love to buy one of these houses. Um, but globally and the big picture, a, a result of Council President's vision and also the RDA, this is a fruition of hard work and people coming together and private and public sector working hand in hand. There were little hiccups, little bumps along the road, but at the end of the day, I think we delivered a quality product. I think the homeowners who are going to move into these 13 houses are going to love where they live, and they're going to stay here. And that's the main focus of why we build here and why we're still here. Thank you. Just wanted to thank uh, some people from behind the scenes. Wanted to thank, again, Susan Cannon from uh, PRA, 
who has underwritten every agreement that we have sent her way. Um, she's worked very hard with us on uh, multiple occasions to make this happen. We would not have happened had that happened without her. I wanted to thank Diane as well from the uh, um, RCO yeah. yes, um, for organizing meetings between us and the neighbors, trying to understand the program, trying to facilitate how we can sell these homes and reach um, more of the people of the neighborhood. And she's done a great job with us. And I would definitely want to thank Meridian Bank. Uh, Meridian Bank has been standing behind BMK, behind the River Wards Group on all these projects uh, for the last five to seven years. Um, they've made this happen. They've given us a loan to build all these homes without one sale. Um, they trust us, they trust our judgment, and they have stood behind us. So thank you very much, Clarence, Jess. And finally, I wanted to introduce Sarah Reister. Um, she's the homeowner, future homeowner of 950 Marshall Street. Um, she is she works in Center City. Um, she takes transportation to her work. Um, she's a perfect example of the buyer that really wants to buy a new construction home in these neighborhoods and feel that they are caught in the middle between the five to seven hundred thousand dollar homes or um, resales or high priced rentals. This 950 Marshall Street is, uh, is going to be her new home. So I wanted to introduce her. Hey guys. Um, I just want to say I'm super excited and I'm very grateful. I honestly work really hard and I could never afford a house in the city, much less new construction. So I'm very thankful for everyone that um, gave me this opportunity and thank you, Mo and Larry. Diane. Okay. Good morning. This is a, an exciting day. It's a dream come true. And we want to thank Councilman Clark for his vision, for his concern about the community, so we can keep people here and not relocate them out. And I first of all want to acknowledge our ward leader, Arthur Green, 14th Ward. For those who may not know me, I am a committee person, but also the 14th Ward RCO Chair. And um, I have been in contact with Councilman Clark's office, with Jeremy, about the workforce housing. I think it's the best thing that could ever happen to Philadelphia. And let's give Councilman Clark another hand. <laughs> and also, um, uh, State Representative Representative Curtis Thomas could not be here today, but he wants to say congratulations to Councilman Clark, thanking him for his vision, thanking him for making this come true. And we're looking forward for more projects. We want to thank the, con the developer, the contractor, who has been very patient, who have been, and also made little, you know, tweaks to the original plans that first came out. We want to thank him and we want to also thank Councilman Clark for allowing the, the RCO, the 14th Ward RCO, that opportunity to be one of the first to see this project come through. And we hope to see more of these type projects. Thank you again. Every homeowner customized their house. Every homeowner. Do you like my choices? <laughs> Do you like my choices? Uh, yeah. Alright. So, sorry. Real deal. Every homeowner went through a nice three, four hour process with a design center manager. We say with them, we have to choose between five or six different planets, ten different artworks, uh, all cabinets, appliances. So they had a choice to customize their house. The price is two twenty nine. So this is where the flat screen goes. This could be the man cave. flat screen. This could be the man cave or the woman's cave. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah. Put it in the open. Put your remotes lined up with the little ticket.